What's better than sliced bread? <laughs> Besides gluten free. <laughs> the place where it first happened. But we discovered something even more. Some epic murals. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. And I'm Gary. We live full time in our RV. This is since August of 2017. In the summers, we spend a lot of time with our three of our four kids, six grandchildren, our moms, and other family and friends. Then in the then in the winter months, we spend it in the south where it's warmer. I'm a retired pastor, and I'm able to serve in warmer climates at various churches in the winter time, as we travel to southern destinations. Each fall, we choose a different route to go wherever we're going. And we use an app called Roadside America, or if we're in a certain city or whatever, or a certain area, I'll Google free things to do in dot, dot, dot. And while we are traveling through Chillicothe, Missouri, something really interesting popped up. You can check out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith, to find some other discoveries we've made using that app and that technique. One of them was in Clarence, Missouri, just recently, where we discovered a roadside gas station from the 1950s. Kind of quirky. In today's video, we're going to show you where the first commercially sliced bread was done. But while we were there, we discovered something even more... What was the word you used? We unexpected. Just, yeah. We discovered something even more unexpected that was really cool. Before we show you our discovery, we're going to tell you some fun facts about sliced bread that you may have not ever thought about. First of all, it was invented by Otto Frederick, road wetter, from Davenport, Iowa. That was a last name. Yes. It was <laughs> road row wetter. Row. The inventor was Otto Frederick Row wetter. The bakery where his invention was first used was in Chillicothe, Missouri, on July seventh, nineteen twenty-eight. In two weeks, the bakery sales of bread increased by 2,000%. Think about it. Back in those days, families were very big, and they also ate bread probably at every meal. So imagine being the mom or dad slicing all that bread for all your children for every meal. It would be like, ah! Very time consuming. So, when sliced bread was invented, it really made a big difference for homemakers. Some of the slices would be like that thick, and some slices would be like that thick. Which is why toasters increased in sales after sliced bread became a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Another fun fact January. 1943, U.S. officials imposed a short-lived ban on sliced bread as a wartime conservation measure because it cost more to package sliced bread than unsliced. The ban was rescinded on March 8, 1943. It only lasted about three months. If you stick around to the end of this video, we have a really good question for you about what was the greatest thing before sliced bread. So stick around for that. <laughs> Now, while we were walking around the town and looking for the bakery, we discovered some huge murals that some of them were as many as the whole length of a building, like on the side of it and the whole height of it. And we thought, my goodness, and we just kept discovering them more and more and more before we realized we could get a brochure at the library, so you might want to go there, or the city office, and they will have them there, or you can maybe pull them up on the internet, too. But the artist was Kelly, we think it's pronounced Poling, P-O-L-I-N-G, I apologize if that is not correct, and he was a resident of, of Chillicothe, and started painting these murals in 2000. 
Now here's some fun facts about Kelly Pulling. He started out as an aspiring baseball player from high school, and then he went to college in Kansas to study art as a backup in case baseball didn't work out. And as it turns out, he injured his pitching arm to the point where he wasn't able to play anymore, so his art background really helped him. He went back to school again in Nebraska and then eventually moved to Chillicothe. The artist even included his wife and children in some of his murals around town. Some places he just has their name. I think he's got the actual characters in there. And there is one, as you watch the slideshow, watch for it. There's one with him on a ladder painting the mural. But it's a painting of him painting the mural. So be watching for that one. He was very creative. So enjoy the slideshow, and then remember we have that big question at the end.
incredible. And you may be have and you may have been counting and noticed there was more than 19. There seems to be some discrepancy about how many he's actually done in town. We counted more than 19. And there were some that were very small and then there were the big ones too. So it is definitely worth going there to see them for sure. I did notice that when you're going through and looking at the smaller pictures, some of them might look like somebody sitting in a window and reading a book mm -hmm. or waving to you. Yes. <laughs> so you might think they're actual people. So really keep a keen eye out to make sure that it's not a person for real or that it is actually a painting. The bakery museum was not open the day we were there, but here's a con kind of a cool story too. In 2018, a 106-year-old woman visited the Baker Museum to see the bread slicer. She recalls her family getting all dressed up in their best clothes to go watch bread being sliced at a store in South Bend. She was 11 years old at the time. That's the kind of impact the bread slicer had on society at that time. So, what was the greatest thing before sliced bread? Wrapped bread. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't use to wrap bread. All the things we take for granted. <laughs> so now in the future, every time you take bread out of the fridge or wherever you keep it or the bread box, whatever, you will now have a greater appreciation for it. I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And next to it, the bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page for things like the 1950s gas station and much more. And until next time, God bless. He traveled. And when in the summers, and Okay. I think I said that already. So that if you pull up. Now here's some facts about Kelly Pauling. Alrighty. That's a that's the kind of and then he started to you know, um okay. You wanna do the question? So, what was the greatest thing since sliced bread? No. Before. Yes. Do you have, um, yeah.